Morning, me people. It's a lovely Saturday morning, and today I am off to Custom Minis to do some work up there. Right, so what we're doing today up Custom Minis is he's got a, a mega Z Cars Hayabusa that's had a full reshell, doors, everything's all new. So last week we hung the doors with the force racing door hinges. This week we're going to mount it all properly and we've got to fit the door locks, the door opening system. So, I've decided what custom is. I want to use my door opening let's set up. So, for people who know, this is my door opening setup. Yeah, you just pull that and you open the door. And on the other side, it's a bit dark. Oh, hello, you can see me. It's got the same, but there's a hole in the window and it sticks out the other side as well. So, it's openable from inside and outside. Yeah? <coughs> So all I use is this stuff. This is carbon fiber rod. Now this is actual proper carbon fiber rod. Let me show you. Don't know whether you'll make it out, but you can see the weaves of carbon through it. So this is strong as hell. So when, for heaven bid that a marshal grabs hold of that because shit's gone down, it ain't gonna break. It is gonna open your door. And then I use some nylon and I make the handles. So what I'm gonna quickly do is, because <clears throat> I'm in a bit of a, I should be there by now. I'm gonna make some handles. I'll do either end of the rod and then we can cut down to size when we get there. But what I'm gonna do is, because I like to be a little bit more precise, I'm gonna whip apart my booster for you so you can actually see the internal workings, okay? Right, so, get me new uh, Dewalt Dugger Dugger. I love me Walt Dewalts. Let's get this done, shall we? So right then, so right then, this is how my door lock works, look. See, very simple. Just, it's actually the hole that's cut in here that keeps it where it needs to be. Carbon rod down to this, which is welded. This is the arm lock that reaches forward to the doofy doofa. So that arm's welded on there. And she's got an extra return spring. You don't, you can do without the return spring, but in race car life, it's best to have too much than enough. So yeah, that's how it works. Ryan, let's quickly get some work done. Well, I'll put this back together later. So what we've got to do is chop this down into chunks and then as this is going to be the only way of opening and closing the doors on both sides, I'm going to mesh, I'm going to round the edge of this tube, carbon rod, and then I'm going to machine into there a slot for it to sit. So the inner one and outer one will butt up together. Right? You'll get what I mean. Right then, let's get this sanding, shall we?
Right, that's how you make the two little door handles. Yeah, and then we've got a couple of little return springs for him. Right, I'm off to do some work. Thanks for watching.